welcome to my channel this is sam and i'm playing red dead redemption 2 so we are about to go for a mission with uh, that trelawney guy i guess that's when i stopped the video on the last one Giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman who so many. Let's go for that mission then. Fishing mission is not. Uh, are there any? Are you even aware of the price on my Good morning. Head? Morning. The pressures are under. If Working hard as ever. Me, I, I make the money, not wash the clothes. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard. And that is all this. Okay, I see one tool here. You know, Let's do this. Another uh, woodcutting show is that way. Let's like do this close one. This one's. You're setting a good example. Uh, fishing there, Mr. mission is <laughs> active again. So I will try to do that fishing mission. But first, okay, let me complete the chores. So. Then we start the action missions. I always do the chores because they give me some dead eye, some reputation like this. So Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. So I have uh, not even done anything on my logbook. I need to do that. I do need to do those two. Uh, but it will take time because I have to roam around, find those things. I don't know even I can. I can find those things or not. Greet him holding a bucket. I live to see another day. Good morning, Arthur. Oh man, the source is getting on my nerves. I don't think he's close. 
Oh, he is on bucket duty too. Nice. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, man. Hi there. By the way, oh, he smells something on you. He smells something on you. And you're the fool who beat him. Hey there. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Pearson. Mr. Morgan. Lenny. Hey. Abigail. Hi, Taylor. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Hi there. Let's pick up this sax. So we basically have like uh, one, two, three, four chores a day. This is the third one. And then we have some wood cutting chores. We'll do that and we'll actually wait for the chores. Then we can go for actual mission, baby. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, yeah. Got the money because I looted the bank. Mr. Like Five thousand dollars. Oh, well, go get him some more. Hello. Hey, Uncle. You, you ever read? Sometimes. Dutch taught me a long time ago. Why? No reason. Just wondered. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure. Mm, there's that wood cutting floor. Arthur. Hey, folks. Mr. Morgan. Come on, pick up the axe. Boy. Let's chop some wood. Boy, come on, boy. This is not going to chop in one. Oh, I hope so. That is wrong. I guess it is. Uh, little more dog earlier, I think. Okay, now I can go for the shunts. Oh, that, uh, that mission is due. What are we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. I hope she is satisfied with that. Morning. I hear 
I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. You're too far ahead. Was afraid you didn't want to join me. Come on, so you nice were just move. talking about something? Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Mrs. is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense we'll just since they invented the wheel. Here. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. 
ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Silwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Hello, mister. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. So where are we waiting? Here we are. This is the spot. I think we are outside doors. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. York audience. They were rather cruel. 
New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you see something for me? I'm looking for a Mexican surprise. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Thompson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. That guy is taking a piss. easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Ooh, $275. Nice. Let's go for that mission now. What? I thought I would read him. He just started with those NPCs just heard about what we did. Somebody's had a few. You be careful there, partner. Ooh. Welcome. You just discovered my little shop here. It is dynamite. I don't know the one more. This is locked. Big beams. Okay. Uh -huh. 
poison arrow Honging Tama Op Special Beaters or Smear Special Horse Stimulant the Beaters Really? You won't regret it Volatile Fire Bottle Incendiary Buckshot You will love that, I swear Revival Jack Hall Gang Map Hope you're good with directions. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Thank you. I saw a uh, buying sign and I stopped and bought those things. There is nothing this left. So I'll just. say about a man who lost his way so awfully. He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Hello, mister. How uncivilized. Afraid no gentleman man, covers his face. by pride, doomed to a lack of sin and vice. You thought I saw a mission here. And sweet corn. Corn brandy. Come on, baby. Okay, fella. Hey, partner. Whoever you are, folks don't want any trouble. Territory. I have to go inside the bed light. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. What's the mask for, friends?
somebody is already waiting for me here. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. Fine, choice of tobacco. That's... A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, this is Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. What is going on? You care to explain? Can I drive? No. Let's get this over with. Caliga Hall is of that far. But we are you getting was it. There. Took everything I had. That son of ours. Come on, Morgan. Pick up the pace here. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Oh, they're thinking this hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just bloody hell, bitch. <laughs> Those ain't yeah, really picked the right fella for tea of the manor, didn't they? Ah. Oh. Given as usual, Flannan. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. But what if we're sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They're really oh, no, so bloody money at the end of all this. Oh, Jose no, knows no, no. what he's doing. Does he though? Yeah, the master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. We got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. We are really close to Canada Hall now. Them Greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them Greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. So, uh, you know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Tap to change to Arthur's point of view. We're here. Stay 
out of sight, I'll do the talking. Hey, hold the ground there! Oh. What'd you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. You want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I mean you no harm. <laughs> I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, okay. Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. And not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah. And they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I've never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Oh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. Eh? Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm going to deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. 
Sure. See you later. You hear that? Harold? Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Go on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Right now, 
We got company. Look out! Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Let's go to the camp. Maybe I have time for fishing. Oh yes, I have a little bit time for fishing. We burn their tobacco fields. This will surely have some serious repercussions. I would want serious money for this job. Here we are. Home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on? Well, dear. Hey, you got any tobacco? I'm busting for the smoke.
Okay, my horse is that. Where is okay? My horse is already in the cab. So let's go. Easy. That's a good girl. Good girl. There's a girl. Okay. So the fishing guy is not here because it's night time. Back in. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Oh, it's already 54 minutes. Well, let's just check it out. What? Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Oh! You know, I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here. Sorry for that, guys. What did you say? We had 
Pinkertons coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you walking over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Ugh. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all? That might be nonsense, too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. I did not even get the chance to... All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. What's that? Observation point. I think this is it. Dutch. It's been a while. How can I listen to this from so far? Sure. Away? So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believe it in you? Better world. Pure world. Hm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. 
lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Gail, yeah, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Shit. Hello, sugar. You ain't dead, is you? Not get out of your way. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax! Relax. I got it. I got it. Did I kill you? Hell oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Ah! What the fuck? Am I dead? What the fuck happened, man? Finally! Put his weapons over there! Something and we burn me alive. We burn all of us alive. It's... Oh, I'm gonna kill you with this man. I'm gonna kill you so bad. If I get my hands on oh, you, it's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <coughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Now, tell me, fine gun like you, uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come around to me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Comb. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you. I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hang you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I fuck am I waiting? Somehow I have to get out of here or we all are dead. You hit my gun somewhere. Swing your shackles to reach the metal coil. This can be used to pick up the wall. Yeah, 
least I am not upside down anymore. torturing a man it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland he better hurry it up i don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef Get on a horse, bitch! What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. No, I'll get better the... hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. I'm gonna go from left. I thought I got a gun from this motherfucker. So bloody. Thank you. 
God damn it, how hard is it to hold? Ah! Damn it. Damn this. Boy, what? They got me. Well, I got away. Yeah. yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. Yeah, that's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Time passes by and we are recovering. A few weeks later. I know it's been a long video. Just I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you My feeling? Is going again. Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. So thank you guys for watching. You Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. This is it for now. I'll be back with more exciting videos. Until then, stay tuned and have a good day. Bye guys. <sighs> See you soon. Unless you use hair tonic. <laughs> Okay, then let's save the game and leave the rest. Bye.